today we're going to talk about uh, healthcare development. Person, Lara Borodotsky, and she is an anthropologist and she was doing a TEDx video on language and cultural change. People who have uh, been following my channel or who know me already a long time, they know that I make the principle of culture and language uh, a core element in the study of Chinese medicine of uh, Qigong, Neja, Kung Fu, and so forth and so forth. Because the simple truth is that uh, a culture defines your language. Uh, language defines a culture also at the same time and also as a result of that uh, it defines uh, how you think but it also defines what you understand she makes clear how things are different between different cultures and how radical these differences are and i have a few stereotypical images that i always use like uh, direction and uh, like uh, the relationship between heaven and earth and uh, uh, well, lots of other things like the absence of the concept of uh, energy in the Chinese culture and as a result of that I, I show very often the way how we as Westerners talk about Chinese or other culture things as a form of neo or spiritual colonialism uh, in which we do injustice to that what we study. Um, that means also that most Chinese medicine studies are not Chinese medicine studies. They only have the appearance of Chinese medicine studies. And that is one of the things that I try to do in the Daoland program. I try to allow people, no, I try people to give the opportunity to study things like Chinese medicine from the perspective of uh, Chinese uh, culture. And then I don't mean the modern Chinese culture because the modern Chinese culture is as alien to Chinese culture as uh, as our culture and yeah, the modern Chinese culture is completely different and uh, even though people talk about Confucian things the language has changed so dramatically over the last say 300 years uh, that concepts from before that time are very hard to understand like for us we have a hard time to understand due to language change things from the Middle Ages and uh, uh, between cultures that difference is only bigger and bigger and bigger um, and that is also very interesting because at the moment when you talk then about healthcare, in this case at Dowland Healthcare, and I'm now talking about Dowland Healthcare from the perspective of what I have to offer, not what uh, other people might have to offer in the future when we grow uh, towards other cultures and other cultures, they start representing themselves in the Dowland program. Um, then within these uh, IDs, uh, you can say that we as uh, people uh, we need a technology for health and you can say okay but we have that because we have our western language uh, yes exactly but this western language also limits your choices it limits your understanding and your understandings are exactly the same like what a home physician or a hospital uh, or a researcher or a scientist will tell you i give a nice example what i already defined uh, in this uh, page is that a culture defines how you think and what you understand and a culture consists of a few things it consists of behaviors but it also consists of a language and it uh, consists of a science and these three things are intertwined and so these three intertwined uh, things they help you define basically um, the context within which you think and when they say uh, think out of the box like what they do in marketing and uh, and so on and so on nowadays and even in science scientific research they try to make you think out of the box of what they already think about but they also try to make you think within the context of that same culture so at the moment when you talk about chinese medicine from the perspective of western science it becomes immediately western science and it is no longer chinese medicine and that's an irony because we use needles and we use Chinese herbs and we use uh, Qigong exercises and so forth and so forth. But what is the basic uh, premises of uh, the Dowland program is that the outcomes are defined by how you think. Because you look for a particular kind of experience. If you look for energy, you will find energy. If you look for Qi, you will find Qi. But the process of finding energy and the process of finding Qi is different. It's not the same. Mm -hmm.